Hello, today I'm going to talk about pulse oximetry pathismography. Pulse oximetry is widely used in clinical medicine. It plays an essential part in the assessment of patients. Devices can be purchased cheaply from various websites such as Amazon. Doctors and other health professionals use the information from pulse oximeters almost exclusively to assess oxygen saturation. There is, in fact, a wealth of information from the waveforms generated by pulse oximeters. This information is often neglected. We should think of a pulse oximeter as a plethysmograph, that is, an instrument for measuring changes in volume in an organ or whole body. Plethysmographs, for example, are used for measuring changes in lung volumes or limb volumes. The word derives from the Greek word plethysmos, meaning increasing or enlarging. A pulse oximeter is a photoelectric plethysmograph consisting of a light source and a light detector. The principle of photoelectric plethysmography was described by Hertzman in 1937. A pulse oximeter placed at the tip of a finger detects the change in blood volume during a cardiac cycle. This in turn means that it can detect the change in cardiac output when the heart is affected for whatever reasons. This is an example of simultaneous recording of blood pressure measured invasively and plethysmography derived from pulse oximetry. There is a close match between the two traces. The phasic variations in blood pressure profile is reproduced in the pulse oximetry waveform. In other words, pulse oximetry can detect changes in cardiac output non-invasively. In this example, we again see the close relationship between blood pressure recording and pulse oximetry plethysmography. This patient has a run of ventricular tachycardia. During the episode of ventricular tachycardia, blood pressure falls, and this is also reflected in the reduction in amplitude in the pulse oximetry waveform. Pulse oximetry, therefore, can provide rapid assessment of patients with hemodynamic compromise. I hope that you have found this uh, short presentation useful. Thank you for your attention. Bye for now.